Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Check This Out. Today's inspiration for Can a Truck Driver Cook? is going to come from a rather unlikely place, the gas station. Yes, the gas station. As a truck driver, you would probably expect me to be spending a fair amount of time at the gas station getting fuel. Many of the fuel pumps here in Ohio contain little video screens that advertise service station specials, the weather, maybe some news headlines, or in some cases, even some recipes. While standing there waiting for the pump to click off, I saw a video of some guy taking Pizzelles, warming them up in the microwave, and then rolling them into a cylinder shape that resembled a cannoli shell. That's when the light bulb went off. And that famous scene from The Godfather immediately came to mind. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. I love cannolis, but I never really considered making them myself because first and foremost, you need stainless steel cannoli tubes. And I didn't have any, and I never got around to ordering them. Yes, you can make your own by taking aluminum foil and shaping it into a tube, but all that seemed like a total bother, so I never made cannolis. To all my Italian friends out there, I know that I'm not making real Sicilian cannolis. Sicilian cannoli shells are fried, they're light, delicate, crispy, flaky. On the other hand, pizzelles are, in essence, baked using a pizzell iron. All that being said, I still believe that this could be a darn tasty little dessert, especially if you use the traditional ricotta cheese filling. But if you're in a hurry, you could fill these with most anything. Whipped cream, pastry cream, or in a pinch even an extra thick pudding, or maybe even a Nutella cream filling. But today I'm gonna to be using the traditional ricotta filling because I want them to taste as close as possible to the real thing. Well, enough talking. I'm ready to give our gas station cannolis a try. How about you? If you are, then let's get over to the kitchen and get started. Okay, let's get started with our quick cannolis. I'm gonna go with the traditional ricotta filling. So for that, we're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, ricotta cheese, or ricotta. I don't know how to pronounce it really. Here in Ohio, we've always called it ricotta. Whatever it is, it's still the same thing. Then we're gonna need some powdered sugar, vanilla, cinnamon, and of course, our pizzelles. These are high quality ones here. I get these off a guy up in New Philadelphia, Ohio. These are custom made for a little uh, import shop up near me. And these are the best I've ever tasted. So they'll make a great cannoli shell. But you can use any pizzelles that you want. You can probably find them at your Mega Mart or if you have an import store, Greek store, Italian store, whatever near you. you I'm pretty sure you can find them there. And last but not least, uh, we're gonna use some mini chocolate chips to decorate the end and maybe put a few through in the filling also. And that's about it. That's about all we need for our filling. But this type of filling does take longer than like using a pastry cream or a pudding because our ricotta cheese is gonna to have to be strained for about eight hours. If you don't do this step, you will regret it because your cannolis will be wet and soggy when the water separates out of it. So let's go ahead and get that started, get that into the refrigerator for about eight hours. Then we'll come back and finish the rest of our filling in the morning. Now you can do the straining in a lot of different ways. Uh, you can use a strainer lined with cheesecloth, but I happen to have a chinois and they are very, very fine holes in there. So that's probably gonna be even finer than cheesecloth. So I'm gonna use this, but if you don't have something like this or a very fine strainer, the cheesecloth in a regular sieve would be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that in there. There, that's about it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the refrigerator for eight hours and I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, while we are waiting on our ricotta to drain, let's go ahead and get our cannoli shells ready to go. Now I'm gonna take these pizzelles, and I found 
this works best for me if I have a half a half a paper towel here that's just barely damp fold it over the pizzelle then we stick it in the microwave uh, usually about 30 seconds does it okay 30 seconds and it's pretty soft now so what I do here is I just take it and wrap it around into a cannoli shell and just hold it there for a few seconds you can actually set it right on the seam and as soon as it cools it'll hold its shape now this recipe should make more or less around 12 cannolis so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these and then we'll start putting our filling together okay there's our faux cannoli shells and those actually look pretty good and from a decorative standpoint I think these will make a really nice presentation so I think we're all ready to go there let's go ahead and set these aside and get started on our filling we're going to start our filling with one half cup of heavy whipping cream now we want to beat that to stiff peaks Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's set that aside now and start with the cheese part of the filling. This is our ricotta that we've been draining overnight. And as you can see, uh, we got a little bit of moisture in there. This must be a pretty good quality ricotta because it's not loaded full of water. It feels nice and dry. So let's take that, put that into another bowl. To that, we're gonna add one half teaspoon vanilla extract one quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one half cup of powdered sugar. Depending on how sweet you like your cannoli filling, you can always increase that, but of course you can't take any out once it's mixed in. So I would say somewhere between half and three quarter cup. Now let's go ahead and give that a spin and get it thoroughly mixed in. Looks pretty good right there. Now we're gonna take a third of a cup of mini chocolate chips. I suggest you use the mini on this because getting them through a piping bag, if you don't have a big enough tip, it's gonna make things tough. So we're just gonna fold those in a little bit. Looks pretty good. Now let's take our whipped cream that we've had setting aside. Get that right in there. And we're gonna fold that in nice and gently. We don't wanna collapse that whipped cream take too much of the air out of it. It looks really nice and fluffy. Let's take a little taste of it, see if it's sweet enough. I think that's pretty good at a quarter cup. So into the refrigerator for two hours and we'll check back later. Now that we have our ricotta cheese filling all nice and chilled up there, I'm gonna take it and load it into a pastry bag with a nice big star tip on it. If you don't have pastry bags and tips, you can just use the corner of a one gallon zip top bag. That's fine, it'll work, it'll work great. It's just I thought that the star tip would make it a little more fancy looking. Okay, now let's take one of our cannoli shells and beautiful and I'm going to take it now and dip it just at the end of it and there you go there's the first one all ready to go may not be a real cannoli but it still looks darn tasty Let's go ahead and get the rest of these filled.
Okay, there we have it. I got about nine out of that batch of cream. I was kind of estimating maybe about 12. Could have made a slightly bigger batch, did a batch and a half, and probably filled up the rest of them. But still, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and get them plated up and give them a taste. Well, there you go. What do you think? It may not be the real thing, but I still think that these would impress friends and family when they come over. Most of that you really could prepare ahead of time before they get there, so not too bad. But let's give one a taste. Okay, those are delicious. They may not be the real thing. They may not be quite as light and crispy as a real cannoli shell. But there's nothing wrong with these at all. I would say give these a try sometime. You don't have to go through the expense of buying the forms for the cannoli shells, do all the frying and everything, and it's still a beautiful, perfectly acceptable dessert. So anyhow, thanks for joining me once again on Check This Out. Keep cooking, take care, and we'll see you next time.